<sighs> I've come here to clean the book warehouse plenty of times before, but this is the first time I've run into these crooks. Are you all right? I am, thanks to all of you. Hey, wait a minute. You're the traveler, aren't you? And you're with... Uh, Lady Kutring. An honor. Truly an honor. We'll try not to take up too much of your time. I understand that this book warehouse is the property of the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Could you advise whether we might find any text relating to the Stove God in this collection? Um, the Stove God? Uh, I, I heard that's the Lord of Geo, right? Huh? Really? Yeah, a friend of mine who conducts research mentioned it once before. We use stoves for cooking, and stoves are built from rock. Some people think that the stove is a gift from the Lord of Geo. And that's why they call him the Stove God. Seems logical enough. But do you have any books on the topic? Um, I, uh... I I'm sorry, I'd have to ask the young master about that. Oh, any questions? Please, ask away. Hey, it's Cheng Yun and Xin Chou. Hello, one and all. bored with nothing to do, and thought I'd come out this way for a bit of reading. And then I thought, why not bring Chung Yun along too? <laughs> yes. I'm just along for the ride, really. I see the Yu Hung Kuching is with you. Hmm. Whatever brings you here must surely be a matter of grave importance. Master Xing Chou, if I may be so bold, do you happen to know if there are any texts on the subject of the Stove God among this collection? Since I personally selected which volumes to store here, I do have some recollection of their contents. If my memory betrays me not, there is one volume among them called Demystifying the Legends of Liyue, which mentions the Stove God. Might I take a look? Certainly. If it pleases my lady, I shall lead the way. Sheng, I will take care of things here. You're free to go about your own business. They're back! So did you find it? Yes, Master Xingqiu has quite an exceptional memory. Demystifying the Legends of Liyue does indeed mention the Stove God. However, it says the following. <clears throat> the body of the dragon wielded a tail that could eclipse the sun, and claws to command fire and teach the ways of wisdom. Receiving the gift bequeathed unto them, humankind cooked food with fire, and thus did they prosper. The body of a dragon? The stories about Rex Lapis say the same thing. That much is true, but this is the only passage in the whole book. If we want to find out more, we'll have to continue our investigation. There's nothing further to discover here. It seems we'll have to look at other options. I come from a long lineage of exorcists. And our family, too, has amassed a number of ancient texts. Now that you mention the Stove God, I seem to recall reading somewhere that this god once appeared at the Guili Assembly. Of course, I can't say if it's true or not. Books are penned by people. All they can do is show what the author was thinking. Everyone's mind is different, so every book on a given topic will give a different account. I apologize that we could not help in a more substantial capacity. <laughs> Your help thus far is quite ample. Liyue is a vast and rich land. All things that existed here in the past have left their trace. So long as we do not abandon our search, it is sure to bear fruit eventually. Thank you all. We will continue our investigation elsewhere. Ah, uh, hold up! I had a question too. Xinchou, Chongyun, could you tell me what kind of food you like? Food? Oh no. You're not thinking of taking part in the Masterful Chefs, are you? Uh, yeah, I totally am. What's wrong? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Shangling, this is a major event. I beg you, please don't cook anything strange for this competition. What do you mean, strange? <laughs> Mushroom slime stew, to give one example. Uh, 
Okay, fair enough. That dish isn't my most popular. But that's why I'm doing all this research, so I can create some really special dishes to win everyone over. Well, in that case, I like cold food. That's because you can't handle hot and spicy, right? <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. My tastes are on the mild side. I prefer gentle dishes with minimal seasoning. Soups and stews, vegetables and broth, seafood or freshwater fish, either boiled or steamed. These kinds of dishes I am most partial to. No surprises from the Google Ah Geek. Okay, another mild child. Got it. These are just personal preferences, and everyone's are quite different. Are you sure this eclectic mix of opinions will be of any use? Of course! You're my customers, and putting a smile on customers' faces is my calling as a chef. Though Xiang Ling's market research blade stabs often into the dark, her heart never strays from the noble path. If anyone can win the hearts and minds with their cooking, it's gotta be someone like Xiang Ling. She's got pure intentions and really cares about the customers. No, where's all this praise coming from? Knock it off, guys. You're embarrassing me. Uh, sorry for holding you all up. That's all I needed to know. Shall we carry on with the investigation now? Over to you, Kuching. Where to next? Hmm. So we've learned the stove god allegedly made an appearance at the Gwaili Assembly. But today that place is largely a wasteland with few traces of human activity. Long Xuan is close by, so let's stop off there on the way over and see what we can find out. Forgive us, for this is where we must part ways. May your journey be a smooth one. Yes, best of luck. If you run into any difficulties, come and find us. We'll be only too glad to help. Let's go! Next stop, Long Xuan! book to read today. Aha! Uh -huh. How about this? Chong Yun, pick a book, any book, and read it out loud to me, will you? That way, I can give my mind a rest. Huh? Um, that's why you brought me along? Don't like that plan? Okay, then I'll read one for you. Hmm, how about Young and Hopelessly Smitten? <sighs> Sing Cho. Don't you think you have one too many frivolous books in your collection? Okay. Hmm. A guide to getting ahead in Eugene Terrace. How about this one then? Oh. Really, Tsingcho? 